Hello everyone. I thought I'd start reviewing some of my newest relate drone based releases picked up on vinyl. Starting off with this Alex Perez release. It's on 1985, his label. Uh, it's called Inchiri Dawn, I think. Uh, the first tune is called BXL. Second is Cleego with Monty. The third tune is Live With It featuring Icicle. And the last one is Slink. As you can see, the art is very solid. We have some very uh, one plate black standard fare. Uh, BXL is, is a great dark minimal tune. You definitely should check it out. It was a single of this EP. However, it's not my favorite tune of the EP, uh, but I know it's being played out everywhere. It came out in 2018. I only recently picked it up because it became available again. Uh, I don't know if they found some hidden copies or if they were holding some back, but I'm super happy I grabbed a copy of it. Um, the tune of the, my favorite tune off this is the third tune featuring uh, Icicle, Live With It. It's a heavy, dark, techy roller that makes me want to dance, personally. It's not super techy and it's not super liquidy, um, but it's got heavy, heavy bass tunes and a fun vocal. Uh, Slink is a great tune also. It reminds me of the early dark liquid tunes. It also reminds me of Alex Prez's early days. Uh, Alex Prez kind of helped start the kind of dark liquid sound that was real popular in the mid 2000s uh, when he was first coming up. And, and this is a great tune. Uh, all four of the tunes, however, are fully worth your attention. You should check out the CP. It's definitely worth picking up on vinyl, in my opinion. <laughs> Next, we have Breakage. Uh, Ric Flair Strut and Sanctuary. Ric Flair Strut is the tune of the CP. It's on the Index label. Index is Breakage's label, standard black vinyl. But it's very good stuff. Um, Ric Flair Strut has this bouncy happy bass line that plays off the break in a way that just makes me want to dance it makes me want to strut i understand why i called it rick fair strut sanctuary uh the b side is kind of more classic breakage breakage from the basement days uh, not like a amen workout like you would do on introspective or uh reinforced but more of a of a dancey like roller that had like true breaks in it it's very much like his old style. It's a great tune, but Ric Flair Strut is, is my pick of this single. But once again, both these tunes easily would make it in to a bag if I was still DJing out. Next, we have Fibonacci Sequence by Skeptical on Exit. Exit is one of my favorite drum bass labels of all time. I hope to someone someday get every single EP uh, every single single release off of Exit, even though some of them are really hard to find. Uh, as with all Exit releases, pretty minimal design, but really pretty. Uh, apparently this cover actually will work with an AR app. Uh, I, I can't remember the name of it. And the crazy thing is you can't find it anywhere on the vinyl release or the vinyl. It wasn't didn't come in here at all. Uh, but the AR app will let you see the f birds flying. Uh, only way I even knew about that was from Debridge's Instagram. Uh, I'm going to have to check that out even though I haven't yet. Uh, the, best, the best tune of this is actually the last one. It's Fibonacci sequence. It's kind of like a dreadful, dark, slow roller. The, the drum, the drum break just slowly builds it, it it reminds me of like horror music uh, soundtracks it just slowly builds and it's got creepy atmospherics uh, the the uh, instrumental mel melodies off this they all build off of each other and they all sound like natural instruments but I don't I think these were all done with synthesizers snail trail another great minimal tune it's like classic techno influence stuff where you're slowly adding on that extra little piece that little extra piece until it gets to a fever pitch and then you 
take it all away and you rebuild it up again. Uh, just great stuff. Charge, good tune also. Um, but Snail Train Fibonacci sequence, those are the ones I'm pulling it for. Last but not least, we got something on Astrophonica. Uh, Astrophonica is Fracture Neptune's label. And one of the things I love about this is this is hand printed uh, by Fracture and some of the people that work with them uh, silk screened on every release. They don't release uh, a ton of like quantity of any of their vinyls. So you typically have to buy them super fast in order to, to actually get on it. And the EP is Big Up The Ladies. Uh, this EP is huge. One of my favorite releases this year, which I probably would say about just about every Fracture release every year, um, including one that I'll be reviewing shortly. Uh, Big Up the Ladies is, in my opinion, Fracture's take on hardcore tunes from the late 80s, early 90s, the stuff that kind of influenced drum and bass. Uh, at its start, Big Up the Ladies features like rave stabs, like vocals that are big up the ladies, uh, some other ravey sounds uh, with kind of, it's definitely a drum bass tune, but it also has like a hardcore four on the floor beat throughout. Um, it's great experimentation. It's been a huge tune this year, I know, because I've heard it on multiple mixes. Everyone seems to love this tune. Uh, it's great, but it's not my favorite song on the EP once again. Uh, my favorite tune is the A side of the B, of the B side, uh, Verhoeven. Verhoeven is this massive like 80s breaker tune, drum and bass style. It, you feel like you should be listening to like electro from the 80s, watching break dancers in Brooklyn like breaking on some cardboard out in the projects. It's an amazing tune. Sci-Fi Tramp certainly has nothing like, it's, it's, the way I would compare it is if you took Ed Rush and Optical, you took Fracture and you threw them back in the 80s and you gave them some synths. It's got an 80s weird beat. It doesn't sound like today's music, but it's, just pure experimentation with synthesizers. I love it so much. All four of these tunes, including Percussion Suite, are amazing. If I was gonna say, go out and only buy one of these, it would be the Fractures Big Up The Ladies, but good luck getting it. So I'll be including all these mixes, all these tunes, I'm sorry, with the tunes from my last uh, Dollar Bin Digs. And I'll be doing a, about an hour long mix that you can expect up on SoundCloud soon. Um, might post it up on YouTube. We'll see. Thanks.